Hey Green Street friends, it's Angela Windrum here blogging about my passions and welcome back to our Green, Green Clean series. Today we are going to go into the laundry room, so it's laundry day. Uh, and I just thought I'd share with you some of our favorite uh, recipes, tips and tricks for, for our laundry needs. So laundry detergent, we're not going to make it today, but I am going to give you a link to a video that we found of somebody who has done it, a YouTube video. And basically it's the Duggar families, um, that's that reality family, TV family that have like 20 kids or something like that. And uh, it's a really good laundry detergent recipe, but it makes a massive amount. So I think like five gallons and we just don't need laundry detergent right now. So I'm just going to send a, put a link below for the laundry detergent. And then just to recap a little bit, we've already covered a few things that are great for the, in the laundry room. So uh, just to recap with that, we had the other day when we were doing the bathroom cleaners, we made a shower scrub, a shower spray. And this actually doubles as a, stain, a pre treat stain remover. So just to recap on that, it was 50-50 uh, vinegar water solution added a few tablespoons, three tablespoons of dish soap and then some essential oils. So you can just squirt that and use that as a pre-treat. And the other thing we talked about uh, was the, pro the hydrogen peroxide. You can use this in place of chemical bleach. So just in the, the bleach dispenser of your washing machine, put some pro hydrogen peroxide instead and it works really good to lighten and brighten your clothes. Whiten and brighten. And then the other tip which we just absolutely fell in love with, we found out when we were researching, was straight vodka. We put it in the in the spray jar. And so in between in between laundry days, if your clothes are you know have some odors in it, maybe you've been cooking and you get that odor in your clothes, so you can just spray them, hang them out to dry, and it won't smell like alcohol when they're dried, and it just helps to eliminate that in between washes. So that was a really cool find. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a homemade oxygen cleaner. So it's a pre-soak. And I got this one from, I th the website is Creative, Creatively Domestic, and I'll make sure I leave a link below for that. But we'll just carry on with it. And what I'm basically going to be using is one cup water, half a cup peroxide, and half a cup baking soda. And that's it. Now I'm going to double my batch just because I like I don't you know I like to make things and then in bigger quantities and then I don't have to do it twice. <laughs> so uh, it called for one cup water and I'm going to use two cups water. So I'll just throw all that in one bowl. And it called for half a cup peroxide and I'm going to use one cup peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. And then to that. We're just going to put, it called for half a cup baking soda, and again I'm doubling, so a cup baking soda. We'll just put all that in. It's bubbling a little bit. And I'm just going to stir it all up. Make sure you stir it. And so this is like a, an, a replacement for the chemical OxyClean. And it will, it's best if you can do it as a pre-soak. So if you're um, 20 minutes to even longer if you have to just put some of this on the stains and then wash it. You can also put it directly in your machine if, if that works well, if you didn't have time to pre-soak or didn't notice and then you were in the wash. So, so that's pretty good and I'm just going to pour that into my amber colored bottle. Now on the recipe or on the website that I got this recipe from, they didn't say to use an amber colored bottle but because I'm using peroxide, I think it's probably a good idea and then that way the peroxide doesn't lose its effectiveness because of the light. So I'm just going to pour that all in my bottle. I think this bottle should be enough. Actually my baking soda didn't quite mix but that'll be fine because then I can shake it. So I'm just going to, I've got some baking soda sludge at the bottom. We'll get that in there and then I'm going to give it a good shake and that'll probably mix it well. And then on that note, just when you're in between uses, give it a shake before you use it because it, you know, again, as being a natural product, they often separate because you don't have chemicals in there binding them and stuff. And uh, so they just maybe need a little shake. So that's my baking soda. There we go. And I'll put my lid on and I'll give it a shake and then we have some homemade 
OxyCleaner stain remover pre-wash. Whoops. <laughs> that lid wasn't on there very tight. Okay, so we just shake that, shake it, shake it, shake it really good. Get a better lid. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then that's your OxyCleaner. So between all of that and the recipe link that I'm going to show you for the laundry detergent, that pretty much covers all your laundry needs. So I hope you got some value out of that. And thanks for watching. Once again, this is Angela Windrum from Green Street blogging about my passions. And please leave a comment below. Thank you.